Let's talk about impatience. In Isaiah 30, verse 18, the Bible says, The Lord is waiting to show you mercy and rising up to show you compassion. For the Lord is a just God. Happy are all who wait patiently for God. Are you a person that is constantly in a hurry? Now, don't knock yourself down too much because more and more people are. They live a life where they're in high gear all the time. From the moment they wake up, till they go to bed at night. Then they toss and turn, thinking about what they haven't done and what they must do tomorrow. If we're constantly in a hurry, we may be in for a few disappointments. Why? Well, because life has a way of unfolding according to its own timetable, and not ours. And that's a big life lesson to learn. That's why life requires patience. And it requires many times lots of it. Lamentations 3.25 reminds us of this. The Lord is wonderfully good to those who wait for God and seek God. But for most of us, waiting quietly is becoming more and more difficult. After all, we're in a hurry to make things happen. I was in Walmart the other day, and there this man was shouting to his family, move it, move it, move it, because they were rushing to get to the back of the store where there was a special sale. The next time... You find your patience tested, and you will. Step back. Be good to yourself. Slow down. Take a deep breath. And simply relax. Sometimes life can't be hurried. At all times, patience is a virtue. And it comes with a promise of a reward. When we read of the great biblical leaders, we see that it was not uncommon at all for God to ask them to wait, sometimes not just a day or two, but for years, until God was ready for the perfect time, the divine timing, for them to act. I pray that your day is a day filled with peace, relaxation, and that you're filled with a new patience that is God-given, that is based on a foundation of faith, where you know that it's not all up to you, that God is with you.